teaching a class. So he asked me if I would uh, take over this responsibility, which I've done several years now in a row. And the responsibility is to prepare a quiz, a political quiz, um, and everyone is invited to participate as, as a group. So you should find one of these two-page uh, quiz uh, at your table. And uh, you should designate at least one person at that table to uh, fill it out. And then as soon as you have completed it, and there are answers, by the way, to every one of these questions. There are, there are 10 questions. There are 16 answers. Uh, some of the questions have three answers. Every question has at least one answer. So uh, if you uh, were to compile a score of 16 uh, at your table, that would mean you'd actually get 100 on the exam. Uh, I am not permitted to participate. Uh, I'll, I'll be, I won't even be supervising as I sit back here. But when you complete the, uh, the 10 questions, you should uh, submit them to me. I'm sitting right down here in this, this, this table in the middle. Uh, and so I can grade them, and then before the end of the evening, uh, I will announce the, the winners. There will be a winner regardless, uh, as there always is. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I should mention that uh, uh, there's a, a wonderful prize. I don't know what that prize is. I've never seen that prize. But there's a wonderful prize, which will be a surprise for someone. And uh, the table that, that does best will win that prize. Do you know what that prize is, Dave? Surprise. Surprise, okay. okay. You know, we're going to keep this a surprise. So please fill these out. Turn them into uh, this table here as soon as you have. And toward the end of the evening, we'll the winners. Thank you. Now, um, I'm sure the table I was sitting in, uh, sitting in, is going to win. Is going to win. They're probably working diligently uh, answering those questions. Now, uh, I want to uh, do a little housekeeping before we go further to our program. Uh, I want to recognize two uh, gentlemen that came in um, to join us. Uh, the first one is our, our, our state representative, uh, the Honorable Dexter Shopper. He's uh, with us tonight, the C State Rep. And also, uh, the most senior, and you won't get mad at me calling him a senior, <laughs> the most senior member of our city council, the Honorable Son Joseph Sonny Vickers, Councilman. Uh, glad uh, y'all could make it. Uh, next, we're going to bring up. Um, Two young ladies are going to talk to us about uh, uh, things that are going on on the state level. And uh, before they do, I just want to uh, put in a precursor here uh, about what we're doing locally. Um, you've heard the saying that all politics is local. That is so true. Uh, there are a lot of issues in Valdosta Lowndes County that we have got to address. And the only way we're going to get those issues addressed is to get candidates uh, to, uh, to elected that is going to uh, address our concerns. Um, the Democratic Party has adopted a platform. Uh, the environment is important to us. Uh, we sit on top of the Florida aquifer. We don't need anything to contaminate our water supply. So we've got to make sure that uh, we have folks uh, on county commission and city council and authorities that's going to look after our concerns when it comes to our environment. Uh, we've adopted a platform of public transportation. Uh, we know that Valdosta, Lowndes County needs a transit system. It needs a public transportation system. And uh, we uh, stand fast and help them to get one. We believe in education. If you look um, to your left and to your right, depending on how you're sitting at the table, uh, there are some yard signs that the Democratic Party um, is promoting. It says, thank our teachers. 
Um, I encourage you, if you don't have a yard sign, they're only $10. I encourage you, if you don't have a yard sign, uh, to purchase one tonight and see. Uh, where's Jim at? He's out front. He's out front. Uh, see our treasurer, Jim. See, so Jim, he'll be happy to take your money from you. Always happy to take your money. <laughs> give you a yard sign. Um, those are just some of the issues that are near and dear to us. Uh, we also believe, as part of our platform, uh, better housing and better paying jobs in Valdosta. And, and I say that to say this, because if you look around this room, you see ordinary common folks working folks and that has been the backbone of the democratic party since the days of roosevelt that's what made the democratic party great and that's what we got to get back to is dealing with issues that affect us everything starts locally we can't worry about him on a national level and forget about us on a local level. I tell people all the time, stop worrying about Wall Street, let's talk about Main Street. What are we doing in, the, in downtown about Austin? What are we doing locally? <coughs> Getting active locally on our school boards, our commissions, our councils, that's what directly affects us, our children, and our grandchildren. So at this time, I'm going to ask Ms. Todd, if she would, to come and grace us with her presence and her wisdom. And join me in welcoming Sarah Todd, Democratic Party of Georgia Vice Chair, County Mark. First things first, I always have to do that. 